Hello again, welcome to Crafts from the Round Table. Today we will continue with blocking terrain and we will make some really cool looking swamps. So let's get right to it. First we start out with our half inch XPS foam. It's about four and three quarters wide. Then we'll take some acetone. Be very careful with acetone. Make sure it's you're uh, very well uh, very well ventilated and also do not spill it onto your mat. I made that mistake as you can see and it actually took the color off of my mat. So make sure you don't spill it or put something down underneath it which I didn't do so now I know for next time don't spill the acetone I use a old brush to brush it on lightly because it starts to dissolve the foam instantly also make sure you're using a dry brush because if the brush has any moisture on it it will severely diminish the power of the acetone and you won't get much of the dissolving. Be careful you don't put too much on and dissolve all the way through the foam unless that's what you want. I just jab it on make sure I watch carefully how deep it's going and this is what you have it turns it into like almost like a jelly then I peel out the jelly portion the longer you let it dry the easier it is to take out and then you'll have your little almost swamps I take uh, my Mod Podge and I will mix it with regular old brown. Now you can make it as dark as you want or as light as you want. And then slap it in. And then I realized I never cut the edges. So then I had to go back and cut the edges. I didn't make them like a rock face I made it more like a sloped earth then once I had a cut I used my sanding block to smooth out all the rough parts and take down any um, right angles or parts that just didn't look like it would be earth once that was done, I said, now I could Mod Podge again. There I had found the spot that actually went through, so I just glued another piece in place to seal it up. Once that's dry, I then took uh, two, two colors, grass green and mint green. First, I used the mint green to color the whole bottom of the swamp area. And after that was done, I took the grass green and actually followed the low contours in on the bottom. That gives it more of a depth. After that was done, then I took some burnt umber and brushed it on the side. I didn't really do a dry brush. I did a light coat just to give it a little bit more texture look. After that's dry, I had to make some grasses. So these are cheap paintbrushes from Home Depot. Broke the handles off and left behind the bristles. Then I use green paint. This is Hunter Green and I just lightly brush it on to the bristles and it gives it a nice grass look. I break it apart into the sizes that I'm looking for.
and then I start gluing them in. Now I would recommend using tacky glue because Elmer's glue was just a big pain in the neck. As you'll see, the one they start to move. Oh, when you have all your grasses glued in place, then you could put anything else you want in there. I always like to put uh, twigs that look like uh, fallen trees. And these just came out of my yard and they make a nice addition to the swamp piece. This time I used tacky glue. Next what I did was I took little hole punches and I'm going to make them into little lily pads. So you take your little uh, groups of the punches and carefully with an X-Acto knife you cut out little pieces so that they look like little Pac-Men. Once you have all your pieces cut I took uh, Hunter Green again added a little bit of water and dumped the little Pac-Man in there to let them soak up the green. Carefully drained them out and then dumped them onto a towel, spread them out so they could dry. Once everything was dry, it was time to get my um, two-part resin. This I got at uh, Michael's. It's a pretty nice resin. I, I don't remember the name. But it's very forgiving and it works pretty good and it hasn't yellowed so I think it's a pretty good resin. When I mixed those together I had some Amsterdam acrylic ink in a yellowish green color. You'll see I add that in a second. Right there, one drop. That's all it takes is one drop to get a nice little green. Then I took ground up chartreuse lichen, lichen, whatever, and added that in. Once it was mixed nightly, nicely, I poured it into the, um, the bases. Then I very careful, carefully and delicately placed my little lily pad cutouts in. They look light now, but as they soak up some of the resin, they will darken up. I sprinkled some more of the ground up chartreuse lichen. And then I had some moss that was from uh, a floral arrangement. But I've seen this moss in Michael's before. I don't know what it's called. I'm sure you've seen it a hundred times, but it adds a nice uh, extra looking uh, growth to the to the water. The next day when everything was all nice and dry, I took some regular Elmer's glue, brushed it on the outside, and then used uh, my favorite flocking. You could use whatever you want. You could even, you um, were daring, you could use static grass. But I used uh, burnt grass and earth blend. And that's it. And they're done. And they look pretty darn good.